Hey everyone, welcome back to our City 17 development update. We've missed a couple of months, but we've been working hard behind the scenes, and today we're going to catch you up on all the progress we've made from February to April 2023. So grab a cup of coffee, sit back, and let's dive into the details. Our main focus in February was to complete the final missing pieces of the map, allowing us to move on to bug fixes and optimization. We paid special attention to enhancing regions where players spend more time, such as areas recreated from Half-Life 2 like the apartment complex. We believe these areas add depth and nostalgia for fans of the series. Additionally, we replaced filler blocks with detailed buildings and proper map boundaries, making the world feel more natural and immersive. The industrial and nexus districts are now complete and ready to be explored. In March, we ramped up development focusing on map design, programming, and UI. Our talented map designers completed the interiors and exteriors of the grocery store alleyway set piece, underground combine structure, and a beautiful hotel interior with a unique set pieces and custom artwork. The mysterious underground structure near the city center is particularly intriguing and we can't wait for players to uncover its secrets. On the programming and UI front, we integrated Combine Morphs to R15, created a rank-based unit selection screen, and initiated development of the Combine deployment system. This new system will allow the Combine to deploy at various hardpoints or outposts throughout the city. Resistance members will be able to capture these hardpoints, preventing the Combine from spawning in the region and eventually gaining resources from holding these locations. Furthermore, We've been working on character customization, allowing players to personalize their in-game characters with clothing, face, skin tone, facial hair, scars, natural hair, and premium hair options. We've even developed a grammar corrector to improve chat quality and make conversations feel more serious, while still considering options for shouting, whispering, or other chat enhancements. Our developers also implemented core in-game stats, UI elements for various screens, and a downed player system for more engaging gameplay. The downed player system will prevent players from instantly dying after taking sufficient damage, allowing them to crawl to cover and be revived to bleed out or be captured by the combine. Unfortunately, we had to delay City 17's release due to an underestimation of programming time and feature creep. We've been keeping our community updated through regular posts in our chat and developer channels, and we appreciate your understanding and patience. We've made significant strides in weapon testing with a robust framework featuring an RCL-style toggle over-the-shoulder camera, first-person synchronized animations, ricochet, bullet drop, and even an AR2 alternate fire. Our team has also performed a detail pass on the train station interior, providing a better introduction to City 17 and improving the overall atmosphere. We've been working on developing systems for frisking, searching, and taking contraband from the inventory of citizens, along with animations for these actions. We're excited about the progress we've made over the past few months, and we're eager to share more with you as we get closer to release. Thank you for your continued support, and we can't wait for you to experience City 17 for yourself. To stay ahead and access the most recent updates well before our YouTube announcements, consider joining our Discord community, where we share updates with much greater frequency.